Lane, and this is Happy Fun Music Time, the most dangerous place on the internet. <clears throat> it's Happy Fun Music Time! <laughs> Mudbigger Volume 3 was released last week, and it has since climbed to number 88 on the album's chart, which is the Vegas chart. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Mudbigger Volumes 1 and 2, which I know you are because I respect you, what it is is a compilation of songs designed to be listened to while mudding, which is when you take your pickup truck and you drive it into some mud and get it as muddy as possible, and then you drive it home through town, and you're the coolest guy on the cul-de-sac. Mudigger Volume 3, which appears to be using the same font library as Dirty Dancing, is finally providing both rap and country fans with the crossover they never knew enough to not want. The crossover is paving the way for even more collaborations, such as DMX on BMX Night, Cornrows on the Cob, Bear Grylls, Forest Humpty Gumps, and Truckasaurus Rex. Please, please, why you no stop watch Happy Fun Music Time? Find nice girl! Settle down! Get off the YouTubes! What is my, where did my accent go? 98 yeah. Degrees has announced plans to reunite for one show only this summer in the sweetest place on earth, Hershey, Pennsylvania. Sources close to the band told Happy Fun Music Time that this Hershey's gig is actually the first step in a diabolical plan to deplete the world's chocolate resources. No. See, the melting point of chocolate is somewhere between 86 and 90 degrees, so the introduction of 98 Degrees to the chocolate capital's temperature will melt all of the chocolate. Next, 98 Degrees is attempting to schedule dates in Nestle, Switzerland, Cadbury, England, and Hillbilly Frank's old-timey custom chocolate shoppy in Birmingham, Alabama. All right, uh, slate your name. Uh, Elaine Moran. Do you have any special talents? The child care. Is that it? The Hello? Wanted's Tom Parker has made headlines once again due to the group's awkward one-sided feud with Christina Aguilera. Parker demonstrated his distaste for Ms. Aguilera by rubbing a photograph of her face onto the crack between his right and left buttocks. With this move, Parker has placed himself alongside such historical greats as Gandhi, Hello. Sinead O'Connor, and Prince. Honesty, secrets, Simos, angel hair, vodka sauce. Community update. <laughs> Community update! <laughs> There's a dog. Last week, we asked you to caption this photo. And the winning caption came from Sophie Jackson, 1202, who said, Karen Carpenter's last performance at the Mardi Gras. Great, Sophie Jackson. The worst comment last week was, This sushikt by Juicy Couture Girl XO. Okay, Juicy Couture Girl XO, I invite you to sit your dumb ass down, and hopefully the word on your dumb ass is spelled correctly. All right, next week, I want you to submit a caption for this photo. Wands one! It's time for Wands one, the one. part of our show where our AP one tells a joke, but Juan is not here, so I'm gonna tell the joke for him. When we informed Juan that the darkness once signed the balls of a taxidermy dog for a fan, Juan said, oh, what? That was once one. An English girl who was face deep in a coma came back to consciousness after hearing her mother singing along to an Adele song on the radio. Hey, Unfortunately, hey. the girl hasn't stopped singing Rolling in the Deep since, and it's getting very annoying. So annoying that her parents are considering putting her back into a coma. Oh! oh. This week, BuzzFeed drew attention to a grown-ass Englishman who has no fewer than 15 wow. Miley Cyrus-themed tattoos on his person. When asked if he would ever get a tattoo that was not Miley Cyrus, he said, you can get tattoos that aren't Miley Cyrus? Wait. I knew it! A clue! Okay, that was Happy Fun Music Time. See you next week, Juicy Couture Girl XO. Also, to see more Happy Fun Music Time, click here. To see the rap report, click here. And to see Music Nerd, Click here. Okay, bye! Bye. We're on YouTube, and you better get fused to it. Blah!